Black holes are some of the most extreme and enigmatic objects in the universe. Their immense gravity creates a region of spacetime that defies our current understanding of physics. But what if you were to venture inside a black hole? The answer may surprise you. Black holes are regions of space where the gravitational pull is so intense that it becomes impossible for anything to escape, not even light. This means that anything that gets too close to a black hole will be sucked in, including stars, planets, and other objects. Black holes are formed when a massive star reaches the end of its life and runs out of fuel. When this happens, the star's core collapses under its own gravitational force, causing a massive explosion known as a supernova. What's left after the explosion is a highly dense object known as a neutron star or a black hole, depending on its mass. There are three types of black holes, stellar black holes, intermediate black holes, and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes are the most common and are formed from the collapse of a single massive star. They can range from a few times the mass of our sun to around 20 times its mass. Intermediate black holes are much larger than stellar black holes, but smaller than supermassive black holes. They are believed to form from the merging of several smaller black holes. Their existence has been theorized, but not yet confirmed. Supermassive black holes are the largest type of black hole, with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. They are found at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way galaxy. The exact process by which they form is still not fully understood, but it is believed to involve the merging of several intermediate black holes. The event horizon is a key concept when it comes to understanding black holes. It is the point of no return for anything that approaches a black hole. Once an object passes the event horizon, it is impossible to escape the black hole's gravity. The event horizon is determined by the mass of the black hole. The more massive the black hole, the larger the event horizon. For example, the event horizon of a stellar black hole with a mass of 10 times that of the Sun would have a radius of about 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles, while the event horizon of a supermassive black hole with a mass of a billion times that of the Sun would have a radius of several billion kilometers. At the event horizon, the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes so intense that it causes time to slow down. This effect is known as time dilation and is a consequence of Einstein's theory of general relativity. For an observer far away from the black hole, time would appear to slow down as an object approaches the event horizon. The event horizon also marks the boundary of the black hole's sphere of influence. Anything within this sphere, including stars, planets, and other objects, will be inexorably pulled towards the black hole and eventually cross the event horizon. Overall, the event horizon is a critical concept in understanding the nature of black holes. It marks the point of no return for anything that approaches a black hole, and is a boundary beyond which the laws of physics as we know them no longer apply. As an object approaches a black hole, it experiences an increasingly strong gravitational force. This gravitational pull is not uniform across the object, and the difference in gravitational force between the end of the object closest to the black hole and the end farthest from it causes the object to stretch out or spaghettify. This process is caused by tidal forces, which are the result of the difference in gravitational forces acting on different parts of the object. The tidal forces grow stronger the closer the object gets to the black hole, which causes the object to elongate and stretch. The process of spaghettification can be extremely painful for any object or living being caught in the gravitational pull of a black hole. As an object is stretched out, it becomes thinner and longer until it is eventually torn apart by the intense tidal forces. This is one of the reasons why anything that enters a black hole is thought to be destroyed. The rate of spaghettification depends on the mass of the black hole and the size of the object being pulled towards it. Smaller black holes have stronger tidal forces, meaning that the spaghettification process occurs more quickly. While the idea of being stretched out like spaghetti may seem like a bizarre concept, it is a real effect that has been observed in nature. In 2015, astronomers observed a star that was being torn apart by the gravitational pull of a black hole in a process that involved spaghettification. This event provided further evidence for the existence of black holes and helped to deepen our understanding of these enigmatic objects. Overall, the process of spaghettification is a strange and unsettling consequence of the immense gravitational pull of black holes. It serves as a reminder of just how powerful these objects are and how much we still have to learn about the mysteries of the universe. Time dilation is a consequence of general relativity and occurs near objects with strong gravitational fields, such as black holes. 
It is a phenomenon where time appears to pass more slowly in regions of higher gravitational potential, as measured by an observer in a different gravitational field. Near a black hole, the immense gravitational force causes the fabric of spacetime to warp and bend. As a result, time appears to slow down for an observer far away from the black hole. The closer an object gets to the black hole, the stronger the gravitational force becomes, and the slower time appears to pass for an observer far away from the black hole. This effect is especially pronounced near the event horizon, where the gravitational force is so strong that the fabric of spacetime is stretched to its limit. At this point, time appears to slow down to a virtual standstill for an observer far away from the black hole. For an observer close to the event horizon, time would appear to pass normally, but for an outside observer, the time would appear to slow down as an object approaches the event horizon. The phenomenon of time dilation has been observed in the real world. In 2010, a team of scientists used a highly accurate clock to measure the difference in time between two locations, one on Earth and the other on a GPS satellite in orbit. The satellite is in a weaker gravitational field than Earth, and the scientists were able to observe time dilation in action. Overall, time dilation near a black hole is a fascinating and strange consequence of the immense gravitational forces involved. It serves as a reminder of the strange and counterintuitive nature of the universe, and the importance of continually pushing the boundaries of our understanding of physics and the cosmos. Once an object passes the event horizon of a black hole, there is no escape from its gravitational pull. The object is pulled inexorably towards the singularity at the center of the black hole, a point of infinite density and gravitational force. As the object approaches the singularity, the gravitational force becomes stronger and stronger until it becomes infinite. At this point, the laws of physics as we know them break down, and we cannot predict what happens next. The immense gravity near the singularity creates a region of spacetime that is so warped and distorted that it defies our current understanding of physics. One theory suggests that the singularity is surrounded by a region known as the firewall, where infalling matter is instantly vaporized in a burst of energy. Another theory proposes that the singularity is a gateway to another universe, and that matter that falls into a black hole is transported to another region of spacetime. However, as of now, we cannot be certain what happens beyond the singularity. The laws of physics that we have developed over time cannot explain what happens in such an extreme environment. Studying black holes and trying to understand what happens inside them is a critical area of research in astrophysics, as it can help us unravel the mysteries of the universe and the fundamental nature of space, time, and matter. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about black holes and the mysteries that surround them. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the universe.